yesterday was a pitching day for you. How do you like to spend a day off usually? There's a gray one. Uh, it's not really a day off, I don't oh, think. Nice. Uh, the day after, I'm you know usually usually pretty exhausted, but you know going to the field and get a, a long run in and get a workout in and you know play some catch and then watch a game and then do it all over again tomorrow. Monday, Thursdays can be travel days. When you do get that rare day off, what do you like to do if you're at home? Uh, I like to take full advantage of the day off. We, uh, you know, obviously we play 162 games in a year, so it's a day off is always is always nice. You know, whether it's usually it's one time a month minimum, so uh, it's always good. We try to we try to not think about baseball. We try to relax and and uh, get rested up for for the next day. You you uh, you you play double A down south until you get called up, or you played minor league down south until you got called up to double A. What's different again. about being up in New York or, or uh, Detroit compared to down south? Well, when I was in New York, I was in Binghamton, New York, which is, it's not like New York, New York. It's, uh, you know, it's pretty open and, and more more country than, than anything else. So uh, it wasn't, wasn't too big, not a big city, but, you know, it was, uh, it was fun. We had um, some diehard fans up there being in the Mets organization and playing in New York, so it's, uh, it, it was cool. Your slider's been a go-to pitch this season. It's been really effective. Was there time coming up through the minors or maybe once you got called up with the Tigers, you felt like this is it, this is real, like this is getting batter's eyes as effective as it has been this year? Um, slider started getting better when I was in the minor leagues. I used to throw a slider and a curveball, and my, I stopped throwing my curveball because it started to blend in with my slider. So once I stopped throwing my curveball, I worked on my changeup a lot more, and I think the slider became a little better because I had time to work on that instead of working on just the, uh, the slider and the curveball. Who helped you develop your pitch arsenal when you were younger? Oh, um, I don't know. A little bit everybody. I'm, uh, I always love to ask questions, so any anybody's brain I can pick, I, I try to, especially with the guys, my teammates now. I try to, to ask a lot of questions and see what they, they have. What's the best advice from someone else on the staff you've gotten? Oh, man. I've gotten a lot of advice. Um, the best advice? Is it is it baseball advice or non baseball advice? <laughs> uh, both. I mean, like uh, I don't I don't know. I've gotten I've gotten a ton of advice. Mostly it's just baseball stuff, but um, they always help me out with anything they can. You say you're a big Oklahoma fan. Uh, since you started playing, have you tried to get back down there for a game or? Since I started playing this year. They're just within the last couple of years. Go to a football game. Uh, I do in the off season. Um, obviously can't get away during the season, but. Uh, in all season, I'll probably go to probably two or three OU games. How you feel about the season? I'm liking it so far. Um, Baker Mayfield's coming back, and you know, hopefully he'll. Uh, I think he's a Heisman candidate, so hopefully he'll he'll take us to the the championship. Grew up in Oklahoma. Are you a big country fan? Yes. Who do you listen to? I'm a big uh, Justin Moore, uh, Josh Abbott band. I know he's a he's a Texas 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 country band, but. We've, uh, me and my wife, we've, we've gone to see him play a few times, so it was, uh, he's, he's pretty cool. You get a chance to go to any shows and you guys are off up here? No, no, we don't, we don't really have, have time. Um, usually, like, the off days, I spend laying in bed most of the day, so, uh, you know, we, we don't really have too much time to go out. I think someone mentioned what, what's, like, uh, favorite food or, you know, favorite thing to see or be around around here in Detroit. Uh... I don't know. I want to go visit, you know, GM headquarters and stuff like that. But uh, you know, like I said, we only have a few off days a year, and usually off days we spend traveling most of the time. So it's it's rare to have a have an off day at home, and um, you know, so hopefully, hopefully within the, the next few years I can I can get out some more. But as of right now, just trying to trying to rest and, and stay relaxed, and hopefully enjoy enjoy one of the off days. It's been a great season for you. Does it feel like it's going by faster than some of the minor league seasons, just because? It's you know, all the attention and all the stuff going on, whirlwind or no? Yeah, it's it's gone by a lot faster. It has. Um, I don't I don't know how many starts I've made, but I feel like it's got to be around 20 starts or so, and it doesn't feel like it's been 20 starts. I feel like I was making my debut last week, so um, it's been fun. Um, we still have a big, big, uh, big pennant race coming up, and you know, hopefully we can uh, we can win here a few games. How about mentally? You know, when you, you guys talk about when guys start seeing you for the second, third time around, things become more challenging. You felt that, or are you just kind of kind of going with the flow, or how, how the coaches, you know, tell you to handle that? Uh, just kind of going with the flow. We uh, catchers do a good job of scouting reports and stuff like that, but you gotta you gotta know how to get hitters out multiple ways. 
So, um, you know, if you get them out a certain way the first time, if, you know, if they make an adjustment, you have to make an adjustment as well. All right, thanks a lot, Mike. No problem.